waking up to this view. Absolutely insane. Airport snack haul. <laughs> we bomb. We both got some of these. Honestly, was the easiest flight ever. I slept a decent amount of it and so did Jay. We just made it to our hotel and we are staying in such a beautiful room. But just wait, just wait until you guys see this view. I think I could get used to waking up to this. This terrace is stunning. No, literally insane. Oh my gosh. I like can't even believe my eyes. And supposed to have clear skies tomorrow. So. Yep. Yeah, they said it's been rainy today, but it's supposed to be like blue skies tomorrow. Oh, it feels so good to be here. So our travel was very interesting because of the hurricane. And we would have ended up evacuating even if we didn't already have this trip planned out. Just because, uh, obviously, almost everyone in our area, in Tampa Bay area, evacuated. We were not in a um, an evacuation zone or anything that it was mandatory, but we definitely still would have. But we already had this trip planned. So if you saw my last vlog, I talked about at the very tail end, we ended up having to drive to Savannah, Georgia, to fly out because our flight was canceled out of Tampa. And then, so we had to drive what would have taken like three, four hours. It took like nine hours i would say to get to savannah we slept for like two and a half hours woke up had a super early flight had to wake up at 3 30 for our flight to newark which is new jersey and then we had like a 10 hour layover <laughs> so we had lots of time we just like hung out in the united lounge which was so nice i can't even imagine if we didn't go into a lounge because what do you do for that long we were honestly like super productive that entire time. We downloaded some shows. We kind of just relaxed a little bit, had lots of different meals. And then we flew out last night at 7.30. Our flight was delayed a little bit, but 7.30, 8 o'clock. And then we got here just this morning. We landed around 10 a.m. in France. And we are in Nice area right now. We're here for a French coastal tour with Chase and United, which I'm so excited about this. And we just met some of the people that are here and Chef Ludo, which he has restaurants, Michelin star restaurants in LA and in Denver, I believe are the two places that he has them. And he's here with us. So we're gonna be doing a lot of different, it's gonna be very food based. Obviously it's a food tour trip. To give you a little rundown on our itinerary, today we have an open day, we came with enough time to just be able to like relax, catch up on sleep because the other option would have been to fly in tomorrow, risk having any delays, like you guys know how travel can be sometimes. So it's really nice that today we just kind of get to chillax. We'll probably order some food, maybe get a workout in, a nap in. We shall see the last couple days. I feel like all we've done is like sit in the car, sit on an airplane. Tomorrow we have a cooking demonstration by two of the chefs. We have a garden lunch. We have a tour tomorrow. The next day we have a street food tour in Old Nice. And then some time to explore and kind of like see the different cuisine and just what's around here. And then we have another tour and a seated dinner, which will be cool, a multi-course seated dinner. It's gonna be a foodie's dream. And then we have another tour and a lunch. So we've got lots going on, honestly. We're booked and busy while we're here and then we'll fly out on Monday. But I will catch up with y'all in a little bit. I'm just going to chillax a little bit. Clearly, I'm making myself right at home. Shower. I need a shower. Ugh. Traveling overnight and not being able to, like, brush your teeth, wash your face, all that. But it does, I feel like it saves so much time doing an overnight flight. Because then 
you can just wake up the next day and still have a whole day to explore. Got a little Pokeball. And Jaded too. I guess we needed to sleep. Well, I could have told you that. But we had lunch and then came back to our room. I think we've been sleeping for like four hours. Just woke up, it's like 6 p.m. right now. I think that I actually might go to the gym here and just stretch and move my legs because I just feel so stiff and like crickety from sitting down so much. <laughs> dinner tonight and then have some sweet potatoes they're bringing up gluten-free bread thank you babe mm. jay got the biggest steak he's ever had <laughs> no it'll be good but you're probably gonna need some sides because he's been saying he's starving and some sweet potatoes yum just as i suspected waking up to this view absolutely insane since it was so foggy yesterday you could hardly see the water out there actually you couldn't at all but now you can see out into the distance a little bit. Beauteous. Wow. It's gonna be such a beautiful day. Here's a little view outside of our hotel again. Oh wow. Workout complete and now it's time to change and then I'm gonna go in the sauna for a little bit. Here's my little outfit. We're just gonna do a little bit of computer work down in the lobby. We don't have an event until tonight, so figured we would be productive. I'm actually getting a massage at 2.30, which is gonna be so nice, but for the next couple hours, just gonna do knock out some work. I have on these little loafers. Actually, they are some big, chunky loafers. Some light wash jeans. Abercrombie long sleeve and bringing back on my big tote so I can bring my laptop and such and then I put my hair in a little slick sack cloth clip because my hair needs to be washed.
post massage hair. That was so good, so good. I'm about to start getting ready for dinner. I'm gonna put in my hair extensions. Here's my before. I just brought my, not this big one of hair that I have not kept organized, but my Lexi hair extensions. And then I'm gonna put my heatless curls in while I do my makeup and hope that does the trick. I'm trying to put minimal heat on my hair. So I did not even bring a hair curling iron, which I probably should have, but I was like, oh no, I'll just do my heatless curls. So I'm gonna throw these in and then we'll go from there. Just finished my makeup and took my heatless curls out. And let's just say only having them in for like 20 minutes or so while I did my makeup and they look pretty good. Let's hope the curls stay. I wish that I would have done it a little bit earlier. I was downstairs doing some work on my computer and I should have just come up here earlier, put my hair in the heatless curls. So for the next few nights, I'll probably do that. Or maybe I'll even sleep in my hair extensions because they're not uncomfortable at all. I wore them on the plane here because I didn't want to like have them all wadded up and I had no problem sleeping in them. So they look pretty good right now and the makeup's looking good as well. I'm liking the lighting in this bathroom. Also, how's the back of my head? Because sometimes you never know when you do heatless curls. From what I can see, looks pretty good. Okay, here is my outfit for tonight. Tonight's gonna be probably the dressiest night, I would say, out of all of them. It's like a little welcome dinner. I just went to war with these freaking boots because of my calves and my left calf is hurting a little bit in this. <laughs> I wish they had these in wide calf. I don't think that they do because these are like very tight little boots, but I love this outfit so much and already also put on this little gold bracelet, these two rings and my chunky earrings. Change of plans, I did my hair up and I'm obsessed. I always love my hair up more than I do down and I did like this cute little hair tie that I got from Amazon that puts like a gold ring around your pony. Y'all, check out this man's outfit. You look so good. We're rocking the black on black tonight and he's rocking the mustache. Mustache. You look super handsome, babe. Got the Tacovas on. Looking good. Yeah, we are rocking matching vibes this is yours yep. yeah i think so here we're not with the purse i'll go you got a lot going on back there it's okay okay it's real life it's it's honest it's that's, true that's about a little that's too what a hundred percent of people's hotel rooms look like when they're oh, okay, okay okay <laughs> it's okay <laughs> here's the outfit with my purse i already showed in my hair and everything but it's okay are we not matching as much as you could be matching here we are. Here's the bathroom too. Okay, that's enough. Video ripper, cut the tape, cut the tape. morning y'all just got back from the gym and breakfast but I never even showed you my gym fit this is my Lululemon set that I got uh, I don't know probably a month ago or so and I'm obsessed with it so got a little treadmill walk in for a bit and did some editing and now it's time to get ready for a long day of moving and grooving we have our first event we have cooking demonstrations so we're doing like cooking lessons and then after that we will have a lunch come back super quick we have like an hour or so to get ready and then we have a couple i think we have a tour maybe like a wine event i think it is and then a dinner so i think it goes from our first event starts at 10 30 and then tonight we end at like 10 30 or 11 but we have so much jam packed in today that will be so much fun so about to get ready for that i have a couple different cute outfits i'm excited to wear today but just got an omelet and some fruit and some coffee my iced vanilla lattes with a little bit of oat milk 
Mm, they've been so good here and people always say like you shouldn't get iced coffee I don't know if that's the same in France too and so like I feel awkward I'm like do I get an iced coffee here but if I see someone else drinking an iced coffee I'm like okay yep I'm gonna order an iced coffee and I asked them the other day I'm like do you guys even have iced coffee and they're like yeah we have iced coffee so I'm guessing it's probably more so like hotels and resorts so it's a little bit more normal and then maybe at coffee shops and like restaurants it's not as normal I don't really know. Okay, time to do a little natural face of makeup. So let's get to it. actually going to throw my hair extensions in even though I think I'm gonna do a bun uh, my hair needs to be washed and I'm always a fan of a slicked back look but I like having a little bit more hair in my bun so I'm gonna throw the extensions in just for a little extra volume that's one thing I don't like about travel is like I never know where anything is like <laughs> at home everything has a designated spot two rows because I want them to be super hidden. regret to inform you something very bad just happened and I broke my fresh freaking nails looking for a pair of socks in my luggage and got it snagged on something but whatever it's not the end of the world and I feel like that happens every single time I go on a trip like the first few days here's my outfit for today I'm actually obsessed with it and I'm doing my little Gucci purse with this it is kind of hard to put a purse on with this little trench cape situation but I think this will work so freaking cute and fun. The newlywed. Aww, how crazy is that? Congratulations, cheers. Perfect. Serve me. But How about, thank you. If I ever, I like, yeah. never <laughs> got yelled. I was never in trouble because I was always like, oh, I will pick up after myself, look clean up after myself, like all these thank things. Thank you. Perfect. She would like thank go to so much. Just had also, I got another iced coffee. I am loving my iced vanilla lattes here, um, but we just had our little cooking demonstration, which was so fun and honestly a pretty like decently easy meal. It was like stuffed vegetables with almost like meatballs because it had breadcrumbs. I couldn't have it, but I had like my own little version. They've been so good about gluten-free here, but we had the best table of people at our lunch and we got to eat what they were demonstrating for us. So sat and ate, chit-chatted for a while, and then they did like this little video of each of us where we told our travel uh, tips that we had. My travel tip was to plan your outfits ahead of time, take a photo of it, know your plan with like the accessories and everything. They probably were thinking this girl is crazy extra. And then Jay's tip was basically to wait until last second, stress your wife out until she helps you plan your outfits and reminds you to do so. So that was funny. But we have a couple minutes, so we're going to change. And then we actually are doing a shuttle to um, Antibe. Is that how you say it? Antibe? Yeah, it's spelled like a-N-T-I-B-E-S. I think it's Antibe. An Antibe? Antibe. Maybe it's Antibe. Antibe? Okay. And so we have a tour there. And then we have another shuttle to, we're going to have, it's at Maison de Bacon 
dining experience, I'm probably butchering everything. So I'm sorry, but we have that. And then we also have a shuttle to a private dinner and wine tasting. So we are booked and busy. Going to change into another outfit. Honestly, love this outfit, but we've got other outfits to wear still. So I'm going to switch and I think I'm going to wear like my little black outfit, like black skirt, black shirt, and then my denim jacket on top. Another day, another vanilla iced latte with oat milk. This is my official outfit spot right here. But we have a walking tour today of Old Me, so I'm doing a comfy fit. I have on my Dr. Denim jeans, my Adidas sneakers, Banana Republic sweater, and I got this belt from Revolve, Amazon purse. I'll show you Jay's outfit too. He's got on the All Saints tee. Some light wash blue jeans and some Reebok sneakers. Fuck. We're just saying that we need to drink so much water today because we are both dehydrated as all get out. Drinking too much coffee, not enough water. Little walking tour. Bon, it's a bon bonjour. Bonjour. We're in Cheers to people, new friends, new places. All right, raise your glass. <laughs> First off, the and, uh, I have to ask, what, what are you allergic to? Oh, no. Here's the dinner fit for tonight. Not how I intended to style this, but 
it's a little too cold to wear the skirt. So I'm wearing um, pants with the blazer instead and then we're bringing in some brown details. Um, is it my favorite outfit in the world? No, do I still love it? Yes, I think that it's gonna do. These Dolce Vita heels that I have on, probably the comfiest heels that I've ever worn. They are like, have like a padding in them and they are so comfortable and also look at the detail on them. So cute. We have like a museum tour and then we are having dinner at like one of the galleries, I believe. So I wanted to go for a little bit dressier of a look and this will do. Do I look like your professor? Possibly, but I'm gonna be warm tonight. Allergy girls. <laughs> Hi guys, a little update. So we're at a new hotel that's just closer to the airport because we head out tomorrow and we have a little open afternoon. And me, Jay, and Meredith are gonna go walk around and we're gonna do a little shopping, maybe get some coffee. Actually, definitely get some coffee. But we had a museum tour, as you saw. We had a lunch there, which was really cool. And now we just get to kind of bounce around. We haven't done any shopping. We also didn't do any shopping when we were in Italy. So haven't even really like gone into any of like the luxury stores or just seen what shopping is all about. So super excited for that. And we're just going to see what we end up doing. Jay wanted to find somewhere that played some football today and it's not looking so good, but we're going to keep our, keep our eyes open for maybe like an Irish or like, what did he say? Or like an English bar. Is that what he said? Um, American bar, yeah. I suppose. These are freaking sweet. Okay, this outfit is fun. Probably would not be something I'd wear all the time, but how fun is this? To our final tour, it's our last school day here. We're at we maybe maybe pan to that because I don't even know how to say it. Something wrong, child. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have our final lunch with everyone. I'm gonna leave. Sad. I know I am sad. Sad this but has actually been the best trip ever. Sad but exciting. Yeah. <laughs>